requested by a viewer. Uh, I do like some of the things it has going. Like I, I really like this uh, a voracious, a voracious. I don't know how you spell. I like this dragon a lot. I think it's pretty strong. Um, still don't like Varix. Not sure I like Hazret, but uh, other than that, the main deck seems okay. Don't don't know why I want Slagstorm more of an anger. I do think that's somewhat relevant in certain matches, and I'm not sure why I want Incinerate more than a Braid, but um, with the Slagstorm and the Braid, we have some more reach, and like they're never dead spells at worst case, they're deal three damage to your opponent. So I guess that's something, but uh, overall, I thought the deck was pretty fun last time we played it, so hopefully it'll be fun again. Hey, Shawnee Wani. Uh, apparently I don't have this set right. Let's try this. Yeah, that looks a little better, don't it? I'm pretty, pretty interested in trying this card, though. I think this card's kind of neat. I got just like two or three or, you know, like maybe one or two more of that card. Uh, we have no super early interaction, but we do have a slag storm. We do have a blood moon. I guess I'll keep it. Please no control. Please no storm. I don't know what I want this to be. If it's storm, I think we are literally on 0% to win as we don't have dampening spears or anything in our sideboard anymore. Like, I think we are on actual 0%. I do not think this is a winnable match. I think they can mulligan to four and beat us most game. I guess how bad I assume this match is if they're actually Storm. And our hand is obviously not very good if it's Storm either. I do like how Hazard and the Dragon kind of play well together. Already, let's start thinking about sideboarding. We're going to bring in the Relics. Probably gonna bring in the boil. I guess maybe we bring in Dragon Claw. I don't even know. F6 value. I'm not worried about Dragon Storms in game one, so. Awkward pauses like this always makes my opponent, or always makes me wonder if my opponent's counting to figure out if I'm dead. I blood moon you. And hope you're good enough. I guess they could not be Storm. They could be on, like, maybe Madcap Experiment or something, and this card actually be mildly relevant. It's going to make us feel real bad about not having the braids if that is true. Uh, I have no idea, Christian. Is it bad that I kind of just want to sack this so that he doesn't get to draw a card? Yeah, I just don't want him drawing a card. Maybe you're making a joke about just Storm in general, but... Yeah, well, game could be over. Game's not over. No counter spell, please. Uh, 
Ah, cool. We at least get another turn. They have ritual in the gift. We can. Well, I guess we won't concede. So they show us another uh, goblin lack card. Electromancer lack card. I don't know how that's even a spell. Huh. All right. Well, probably dead. Seems like it would have been better for them just to cast gifts. <laughs> last turn instead of spending two mana on Electromancer and making themselves have to be able to pirate do this. It just feels worse to me. Uh, I guess I give them the least of mana possible. And we're dead. They can't fizzle from this spot. I guess I could have let them do it for the stream for those who are not familiar with uh, Storm. But they, they were 100% there. Well, I'll rephrase my statement. They were 100% assuming they didn't like misclick or do something wild. Or, like, make a very poor decision. I don't think those are good here. I don't think these are good here. Maybe the Dragon Claws are okay. I don't think these are particularly good here either. We'll just run with this. Still have a couple of slag storms. They're choosing slag storm over anger because they can uh, kill a bro or like kill his face rather. But all right, I'll keep this hand, even though this hand does not seem appealing. Um, mainly keeping it because I highly value the scry. We don't have any relic. We don't have any way to kill a uh, mana reducer. Maybe the boil will be outstanding. Not that I think we'll ever get to cast the boil because we're probably just going to play this, then play this, and then probably play this. Doesn't feel good enough versus the fire deck or the unfire decks. Hmm. That looks a little better, I guess. If we get two or three of these out, they may be enough. So I don't actually think Dragon Claw's good in this match. I just think it's better than some of the things we took out.
Sarpin was a great draw. Eh. Yeah. Dragon's Claw. We don't get a fourth land, at least we have something to do. And if we do get a fourth land, I guess technically you just cast a dragon. Probably won't. Ooh! If we get a fourth land, this boil is going to be stellar now. Especially if they just have like steam vents for their turn. That's not steam vents. Alright, fourth land. Be everything we want. Let's send them back to the Stone Age. The heart of this card's wild. Two draws at it. I think it's worth trying to get. That's about our luck. They use the op during their upkeep, which is weird. Weird to me, anyway. What do I know? Because, I mean, they could have presumably just used it at the end of our last turn, right? Don't think I want that. A relic. I like the idea of a relic here. More than the boil. A, I'm greedy. Maybe we can get more value out of the boil. But B, it leaves up incinerate to go with it. Getting really close to potentially ultimating Sarkin. They may just have to pop off something like a goblin uh, warns for whatever they can this turn. Just to keep this in check, maybe?
They brought in Shattering Spray? Huh. Guess they were just expecting, uh, what do you call it? Skull Day Attack. But it doesn't tell me, oh, that's the replicate, I guess? It doesn't tell me what it's targeting. I have no idea what it's targeting. Okay, so it's going to work like that. I never saw this card cast on Moto before. Just gonna cast this now, I think. I guess it's better to cast it during their turn. I think it's better to cast it during their upkeep to use up some of their mana. So you generally don't have a lot of counter spells. It's going to be pretty hard for him to combo now. Oh, yeah. I think we're going to take game two. Somehow. Don't, uh, don't exactly know how, but it's looking pretty good. I guess I'm casting an aver. I probably don't even have to cast this. I think it's better just to keep up our two incinerates at this point. Maybe they have disallow. No, they got Oh, they could have echoing true for that. But we have an incinerate and a lightning bolt that can like kill a dragon if they do. So they need like double echoing truth. <laughs> the ultimate of the Sarkin versus Storm. How good how, how smart do we feel? How smart do we feel? I feel pretty smart. Now I just want all the mana denial because it worked so well last game. No, I actually still just think the mana denial is like pretty bad, but And I'm using the Anger of the Gods instead of the Ratchet Bomb because it can also kill Baral. Attack. Her one of Boil. Imagine our opponent's like, what? Our opponent's like nine minutes lower on the clock than us, too, which is kind of a tilt. I guess this hand's a keep, but this hand's again, like, 
pretty bad. So we have a boil. We have one way to kill a thing. If we draw a Sarkin or a Chandra, it can come out early. We have a Dragon Claw. Uh, I don't think it's good, but it's better than probably a random five. Hopefully the boy will be good. Hopefully they just have like an island and two steam vents or something crazy. And we can just get them. We can just get them and feel good about ourselves. Just get them. Boom. Powered it up. That's probably bad for us. All of their lands if they do nothing here. So maybe they're going to opt at the end of turn. If so, we're going to boil. Get all three of their things after the opt, of course. Use a counter here. We're gonna let them do their scrying and drawing. Especially if you don't draw really like very. Well, our hand's going nowhere. Well, so they've drawn like five lands and 18 cards or something. I know they've been looking at additional lands. But...
I guess. They can't do anything if this amount of mana setting them back mana would be nice. All right, it's time. <laughs>
So they have to deal 47, Storm's at 9. I don't think putting the Storm on them for 1 hurt me. Like, I gained, I gained 2 life, so they'd have to cast 3. Huh. Well... Interesting. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me or not here. Um, I'm actually going to low... Oh, okay, you can now. Okay, I like my mic's broke, so it's probably going in and out. I'm not going to be able to get it fixed until like Tuesday at the earliest, unfortunately. I can't imagine being alive here, but... Like, it just feels to me like he's going to be able to cast free grape shots pretty easily. Or even two pretty easily. If, if they show me a uh, cast in flames, I'll just scoop. We came close. Like, maybe they don't have a Pest in Flames. Maybe they're both on the bottom of the deck or something. Maybe sideboard it'll mount. If you sideboard it'll mount, we can win. Alright, it's time to see whether he has Pest in Flames. Well, I guess, uh... We should make sure he shows us two Grape Shots as well. Because, like, we can put this first Grape Shot in the graveyard. And he's not casting 48 spells. Well... Cast 48 spells. I don't know. There's a good chance we're conceding after these two gifts resolve. Like, I don't want to beat them on the clock if they have the combo going, so if we see, like, double grape shot or... We we'll just give them the mana, right? Like, we know they have infinite mana at this point, as long as they have a Past in Flames, so. They don't have Past in Flames, like, we can win. Oh, wow, there's no Past in Flames, so. It could already be in their hand. But we can't concede. They've not showed us anything that lets us know that we're dead. You know what I mean? So there's a grape shot for 17. A second grape shot doesn't kill us. Um, they don't have a remand that we know of. A remand doesn't kill us even if they have it. So again, I'm staring at their clock pretty hard because I don't want to win this way. Another grape shot, but they've not showed us a past in flame, so we're not dead yet. They could have sideboarded them out because of relics, but I doubt it. Especially because we know they had other spells they could cast here. Like, they could have cast the Baral and the uh, other dude. And we died. There's some amount of chance that we could have timed them out. They had, like, 23 seconds or whatever to click the buttons. But like I said... I don't actually want to uh, beat them like that, and they're playing pretty fast. I don't, I don't, I don't want to win like that. So, it looks like we were one turn away from winning. There, we had a glory bringer on top of our deck. The game was a lot closer than I expected it to be. 
But yeah, that's kind of why I say Dragon Claws are terrible in that match. They don't actually do anything. When your opponent's able to combo, they're, they're able to combo. It just seems like it was better than some of the other things in our deck. Um, they don't brick off normally for like 15 turns. So like, we can't say sure if that was a dragon we would have won or whatever. I don't think it works that way. Because like usually I think those dragons don't do much. But you really need like dampening spear or something. All right, we're going to keep this hand. We have some early interaction. We have a blood moon. We have a scry to help us find our land. Other than like a simian spirit guide or a lightning bolt, I think this is like one of the better hands we can get. Let's see what they're playing and see if uh, it's good enough compared to what they're playing. Search for tomorrow. Feel like this match is not great for us then. We have to have the land. They typically have Reclamation Sage or something in the main deck, so. Yeah, my, my headset's really broke. Not a lot I can do to fix it. The second search. So we are not just dead, we are super dead. I'm not going to be able to fix it till Tuesday at the earliest. Yeah, hold it like this, maybe it'll work. But I doubt it. Hello? Do you work? No, you don't work, do you? Be good enough? No remand, please? Uh, I assume I broke it. And I think that's game. Just got paired versus another combo deck, easily lost. This deck wants to get paired versus like humans and spirits and stuff, I think. Uh, I'm literally holding the, the microphone at my mouth right now. Yeah, well, that's all I can do. At least we don't have to be concerned about this line of attack. We'll beat this line of attack, I think. Presumably, they don't have a remand. Yeah, I played this deck once before. I just played a different build of it. Like, I like the deck. It's, like, kind of fun, but I just don't think it's good in certain matches, and this is one of those matches I don't think it's particularly good in. Well, I don't think it's particularly good versus any of these combo we like decks. That's kind of weird. They could have uh, bought that back and countered it, and they didn't. I guess they'd rather loot. Yeah, this kind of cool that it, like it even has a chance to compete. I am surprised that they would rather loot here. This is going to hurt my hand to hold this for like an hour and a half. But we do 
what do we do? They attacked my face. They didn't care about this guy. Is it okay to exert then? I'm gonna exert then. Like, I'm actually worried about my current life total. So they discarded another one of these, which was an actually useful spell, so I'm kind of confused about what's going on. It's probably, they're probably going to encrypt a command, the Blood Moon, into killing us. If I was guessing, I would assume that's what's happening here. But it may not be, so I guess we'll keep playing like it's not and hoping. Oh wow, it was not Cryptic Command into that. It could still be. They could just not have the scape shift. Okay, it wasn't. All right. Well, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing then. Their decisions don't make sense to me, especially like the discarding another loot effect if they didn't have something they specifically wanted. Um. So Boyle's probably fine here. Relics are probably fine here. Not you, Dragon Claw. Uh, Molten Rings are probably fine here as well. Uh, don't think we need the Ratchet Bombs. Doubt we need the Slag Storms. We can probably cut some number of these spells. I keep cutting the Hazards and the Blade Wings, but that might not be right. I'm going to cut one of these this time because I... I could duct tape it. I don't think this hand's good enough. I sold 14 has or 14 Sarkins this week. All right, this hand's got quite the few hate cards and a Sarkin. Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop playing Search for Tomorrows. I want to draw as many Simian Spirit guys as this does search for tomorrow. It's only fair, right? Well, there's a second search. Both games, they had turn one search, turn two search. I tell you, it's not fair. I'm telling you guys. Hey, JJ, 13 months in a row. Can thank you very much, my friendo. Oh, that reminds me. I don't know why the the homage to JJ is not up top. So I assume they're going to have counter spells here. So I might as well just go ahead and cast a Molten Ring and let them counter spell it because I think it's the least good card in our hand. Hey, there's another standard card. That's kind of neat. Hopefully they'll get like some kind of other island effect and we can get them with this boil at some point. The problem is I don't know how we get them with this boil. Like, what's the odds that they're going to tap out ever? As we all laugh out loud when we spend four mana on a gifts right now. Oh god, how good does it feel? Get boiled. <laughs> we win. <laughs> we win. We win. It's the second person we've killed with a boil. 
<laughs> Alright! We have so much fun! Get boiled! <laughs> that guy's like, you know that he is saying foul. Th Sorry, not he. Our opponent is saying foul things under their breath. We're like, they're probably just yelling in their room. They're like, Mommy, the son bitch just cast a boil on me. Bring me some Cheetos. That that was worth it. I don't care if we win another game. Uh, all right. This hand's either gonna be good or bad. <laughs> we'll find out. I did. Like, I, I've got something in my eye, and I should not be crying, but I'm literally bursting myself into tears there. It burns so bad because I cut my eye again. A constant problem. So this is a match that Blood Moon's not good versus. We are S-O-L. Eh, spoiler. Most of those decks, Blood Moon isn't good versus. Might not ever get another land either. I want to try this deck with some Chalice of the Voids and stuff. Alright. Well, speaking of... We got a play set now. Huh. Alright. Start countering. That's <laughs> like not even that good versus them. Like, they already have their lands. They don't care. They just get a planes with this and keep on going. Like, hi, you can have your blood moon. I don't care. Well, fine. Thank you, opponent. It's pretty bad when your blood moon's not even good versus the three-color deck. Uh, yeah. Stop two of them. <laughs> now your red lance bruise red. So far, our blood moves have only hurt me as they made my Zaffin Boyd get turned off. Like they've helped none. And they've only hurt. Makes me sad. Uh, taste to bring her a glory? They could just like not have a path of exile the whole game, right? We could just like 20 of them with this? Phone is quite ahead on the clock. And by clock I mean their Snapcaster Mage is pounding our face. I wonder if I'm supposed to exert Ooh, that's a burn spell. I think I'm going to exert here if he lets me attack. Just because I'm afraid of them drawing Path to Exiles or whatever. That's right. We exert in Modern 24-7. We don't care. Boom.
Ah, second Simeon Spirit Guide Hardcast on the week. Uh oh, that's probably the bad sign. Because that probably gets us snapped. I think I want to go ahead and pick this up. Because I don't want them to be able to tuck it. It's six damage. You're way too late, Chandra. Boom. Do we get done tap a turn? Probably not. But potentially. There's no guarantee that they have anything. I think all they have to do is have a Snapcaster Mage, Lightning Bolt, or Lightning Helix, but none of that's guaranteed. Alright, well, we're dead. Boo. Alright. Well, we want our boil. I think our molten rings are actually okay here. Kind of think these are okay here, and I kind of think these are okay here. Pretty sure that these are total trash. I'm pretty sure that these are total trash. I don't think I want these either. Eh, these probably actually aren't very good. We'll bring in one of you. I don't think we get burnout that often, so... Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, this hand seems fun. Uh, I guess I'll keep that. Boo, no target for a molten ring. Not happy about that. I was hoping we'd at least get the curve. No, I, I won't be able to get to a store till Tuesday at the earliest. Live pretty far from one. So Tuesday will be the first opportunity I have. Which kind of sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. Alright, well, I guess I want to cast these. Because the next turn we know we want to play Glory. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Right now I'm holding the little Mac thing. I'm sure the volume's absolutely trash. 
And I highly apologize. All right, I guess it's time to see what they got as we just jam threat after threat for the next, like, four turns or something. Oh, cool. They turned on our relic again. I assume that means they're going to path this, or Supreme Verdict, or something. Maybe that's not what it means. Uh, get dargened. Could have cast ha or could have incinerated and used hazard at that turn as well, but for some reason I thought they would have some kind of response to the glory bringer, whether it be a condemn or. Uh, a celestial purge or something. I was trying to protect the hazard, but that didn't work out. So maybe that was just a bad play by me. But there was reasoning behind it. All right, well, we have nine burn spells that can theoretically win. I assume they're going to have some kind of effect here, but... Forcing it's okay still, I think. Probably should have held that land in case we drew Sarkin. Well, no, we were discarding it to the dragon. Derp. Not very bright. Hey, we get to draw an additional card? How fun is that? Put another thing out here. I think I'm only going to attack with one because of Settled Wreckage. Though this turns Settled Wreckage off, so I'll probably attack for both if this resolves. That Blood Moon was actually a really good draw now that I think about it. When I first drew it, I was like, man, this is stupid, but, like, it shuts off Settled Wreckage, which is, like, really nice. I don't have a fetch land. 
What do you, what do you mean? I don't have a fetch land. I'm confused. There's no fetches in the entire deck. So now I'm convinced that they have settled, by the way. Absolutely convinced that they have settled. Oh, them. Eh, yeah, maybe they don't. We have to discard all of our things anyway, so we're just going to play them out here. I could be sacking this, uh, the Relic of Progenesis and trying to get lucky and draw one of our seven burn spells, but I don't feel like I'm in any pressure. I feel like we can do that at basically any point, and right now I'm still enjoying the value we're getting out of the Relic. Alright, so they just they, they actually just didn't have anything during all of these turns. Maybe the blood moves are better than I think they are. Like, I don't think it cuts them off their spells, but, like, potentially can cut them off settled wreckage, and that's not nothing. Hmm. I don't actually think this is good in this match. Try something like this. I still want to keep enough burn spells in that I don't have to worry about like a Jace coming down and winning the game. Oh, there's our there's there's our Bubby to boil. Our Bubby to boil. Bubby to boil? Our favorite is Little Boil. They don't have a whole lot of islands in their deck, though. Actually, I'm going to put that on top. We're going to need the mana this game. <laughs> we Our open hand had, uh, like, three mana worth of spells in it, so... That feels pretty reasonable that we're going to need it. Maybe they'll play us another island. That would be sweet. It's all Blood Moon too, so like they're incentive they have an incentive to play Blue Lands. So that means we're gonna get to resolve either the Boil or the Chandra, whichever we want. And that means boil, by the way, because he's not going to give us. He's not going to let us keep the Chandra. Actually, he could just take the Simian Spirit Guide and give us no good options this turn. But I assume he's taking Chandra. Seems like the better spell to take. Can we throw a Simian Spirit Guide away in a boil to kill one land? That doesn't feel good enough, but he gets to play around Boiled the entire game, so like maybe we should just enjoy the one land while we can have it. Hmm. I would love it if they just took Boil and made our choice simple. Because if they were to do that, we would just Chandra tick up Lightning Bolt to click. That way we keep Chandra out of uh, range of the Tension Spears. Huh. They took the Lightning Bolt.
kind of interesting. I guess they have a finish discount. Or think that they they have like enough counter spells and stuff that they can tread the glory bringers until they can kill a Then I assume we're using Boil to kill one thing at best. So I'm just not even going to bother with that. Just getting rid of the Boil here. I want the other land in case they have like a detention spear or something for the Sarkin. Huh. Alright. Well, I guess what we know what our next several turns are. I guess they could have nothing. This is just what weird in a way. Definitely don't want this land. Ooh, that one's interesting. Definitely locks their mana up pretty good. No. Oh, Remand? Oh, we're fine with that one, then. Tezzeret's the only car, or not Tezzeret, but, uh, neat. We can try to kill one of their, uh, blue lands. Interesting. I don't think there's any reason to, like, just slam the other Glorybringer. Like, they could have opt-in to Terminus or, like, a bunch of things. Oh, I forgot to use Sarkin. I was just clicking through my phases. I meant to do it in my second main phase. I was just going to tick it up, though, so it doesn't, didn't really change a whole lot. Like, I wasn't... Because I'm still afraid of Terminus, or, like, maybe they have a land... Terminus is the only card I'm afraid of, so... If Terminus is the only card I'm afraid of, there's zero reason for me to, like, ultimate it. Especially when we just have another Glorybringer in our hand. We're 2-1. Hey, this is the modern trophy leader. Oh, he's not the leader anymore. He's second. Uh, we'll keep. He used to only play Mardu. I have no idea what he plays now. Somebody told me he's changed ad nauseum. Yeah, well, he's clearly not playing ad nauseum, is he? <laughs> yeah, since they could be burned, I guess we're going to lead with the mountain. Could still be Mardu leading with a mountain.
I think I'll keep that. This is good versus lingering souls. Oh wow, an hour from where you are? It was at a video game event too, so like it's not inconceivable that that's at a place that you could have been at. That's crazy, man. I didn't realize you were that close. That is uh, a little on the wild side, though. Wow. I'm, that would freak me out. I just have to say, that would 100% freak me out. Don't think I want that. Like we're playing standard over here. I don't know what our opponent's playing. But we're playing standard. He's probably going to lightning bolt this. We're going to have a ratchet bomb to try to protect it. think I'm even worried about protecting it not from one point of damage what knows one it's not like they're gonna chain whirler well, this card's not very good Guess I'll play it. But it's not very good here. Kind of surprised that he didn't kill my ratchet bomb and then like worry about Pyromancer later, but I guess I could just be very wrong. I mean, I don't mind that people have guns. That wasn't what I was talking about. I live in an area where, like, everybody has guns. There's probably a dozen in my home. It's just, just, you know, there's not a lot of violence here, so I guess it just seems a little different to me. I don't know. Um, It's only restricted in vintage, and it is that powerful in vintage because of all of the moxen. All right, you got me. I'll finally sacrifice this to try to save my Sarkin. You have a Lingering Souls in the graveyard, so if you still have things you can do. That's why we kept the mountain in our hand, by the way. Oh, we're just dead this game, aren't we? What can we do to actually win this game? I guess we have to kill this one because we have Slagstorm, so maybe we can clean up the Pyromancers later. But we're going to have to hit one. Our cast is a nice little blocker here. When they start rolling through their deck, they roll through it so quickly. I like how he got to discard his Blood Moon because he already has something better than a Blood Moon in play. Alright. Anger. One time anger. We're running out of time to draw that anger. By anger, I mean it's Slagstorm. So if we kill that, it's one, two, three, four, 
9, 10, 11. So we are 100% dead. We have no out. Unless for some reason he blocks. It did not hit what we needed. I'm going to miss our uh, Thunder Maw Hellcats on the sideboard now. And dead. All right. Well, what do we want? Those aren't any good. We definitely want these. I kind of think we want these. And I kind of think we want these. What do we not want? We 100% don't want these. Don't actually think our incinerates are that great. One for one removal is not wonderful versus them. Um, the dragons are very good here. They're like pretty bad as well. It's pretty good. Some did well today. I think, uh, I think one top eight at SCG and a Grand Prix, but I won't swear to that. Yeah, we'll just try this. I think the Dragon Claws are great, but like maybe they'll buy us a few extra turns to hit a Sweeper. I didn't bring in the Sweepers, right? Oh, sweet. Make sure I didn't misclick that. Um, this hands a keep. I got the crap killed out of me by uh, Sahili uh, and uh, Feldewar Guardian the other night. Alright, I got beat to death. Is it wrong to turn one Sarkin? I'm going to. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. They have dread boards, so it's like... We uh, put a lot of resources just to get a Sarkin down that may not be good enough because of like lightning bolts and lightning strikes. Or sorry, lightning bolts and things. <laughs> we upgraded. That's amusing in a way. Like, if they just boat, boat, we're in pretty bad shape. Or if they, like, turn two falsies, we're not great. But if they just do that, we're not too bad. Turn three glory bringers. Good and modern. If we draw a land next turn in our two draw steps, we can cast Hazard and Attack, which is honestly about the most hilarious thing ever. That counts. This draw was hilarious. We kept an anger to God in case they play Lingering Souls. Or, I mean, that's the same thing as Lingering Souls in this situation, but...
this Hazra can kill pretty quickly from here. Oh god. The Nahiri does work. The Nahiri does so much work. The Nahiri is so good here. The Sargon can ultimate now too though, which is kind of crazy. I guess I wasn't supposed to exert there maybe? Was not thinking Nahiri. I should have guessed Nahiri though. Like I do know some builds play Nahiri and I know the builds that play that have planes in them are more common to have Nahiri. Yeah, we. I'm, I'm. I'm pretty sure our Varixes should just be Thunder Breaks. So you need something to stop the Avison here. All right, that works. Still playing. Mardu is so good versus fire decks. Alright, well we need to draw... How many of them did we side out? We sided out four. We need to draw one of our three lightning bolts that are left in our deck, or one of our one slag storms. We'll just accept the lightning bolt. And go on about our day. We want a game. Okay, so I feel like we've learned more about their deck. I just do not want these Dragon Claws whatsoever. They were stupid to bring in to begin with, I think. Do I want Incinerates or do I want to like get... I think I'm just going to bring the Incinerates in. Anything that can kill a Planeswalker or a, a Young Pyromancer is probably just enough to have. Oh, well, this is for our pity chest. Uh, I think I keep it, but I don't think it's good. Because I think discard tears this hand up way too easily. We need to draw one of our seven removal spells. That was not one of them. Well, this is probably bad. We're probably going to be Simeon Spirit guiding into a dragon and discarding our hand and not having any resources. We have four sweepers that would be good to draw, though. Oh wow, so he'd rather us have Chandra in play. Oh, because he's just going to needle Chandra, that makes sense. And because we have incinerates and not a braids, we can't stop that. We won the last one, yeah. Alright, so we're in pretty bad shape now. Uh, yeah, we're in pretty bad shape now. We're just going to have to hope that we can storm breath dragon and it be enough. There's some chance that it is based on what he's showing us. Oh, he has terminate wrecked. That got us pretty good.
gonna be a little greedy here because I want them to cast the lingering souls. But that could be a very bad play. Like, I actively want them to play that. That's a really nice art. Lightning bolt's helpful. So basically, we only have to avoid the uh, the big dog now, the Bedlam Reveler, and we're in okay shape. Drawing two cards a turn at the moment. All right, well, they got young Peasy back, right? be a problem oh come on daddy um because we've already saw the here i think it's better just to exert here it gives us that any one of our burn spells can win the game but because of the here i just want to go ahead and get his thing killed And we did it! We beat the arguably best uh, modern player. 3 1, PD Chess. Like, he is routinely at the top of the uh, things, and that is his deck. That's his deck that he constantly wins, like, you know, top one to three in trophies with. Pretty excited about that. So we got one more game left of me having to hold this mic, and then I gotta go pack more mail. It's an exciting time to be me. Not. <laughs> Scrubby steers us. Getting wild. <laughs> I am. I am absolutely sure that that dude has never even considered playing my deck or do that. I do not know their gender. I believe it's a male though, because I think somebody told me their name, but I only have like a vague memory of it, so I could be wrong. Let's see if we can pour one of his deck. That would be sweet. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, I'll keep this hand. It's better than the other one. It's still bad, though. I will keep. Oh, yes, we will keep a land. Congrats to check. They, uh, they lowered the drop rate again. Drop rates back to normal. No, don't be the same deck. We barely beat you the first time. It's 
could be like Jund or something. Doesn't have to be the same deck. Boom, 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 boom. Just making my hazards better, pal. Hazard going to give it to you. You just wait. Just going to draw a Simeon Spirit Guide in there. Hazard can attack next turn. Assuming we use the Lightning Bolt. Alright, it is the same deck. But I don't know, I guess it could still be Jabber Jund. It is very likely the same deck at this point, and that means Hazard wouldn't even be good. Yeah, same deck. I don't think it's worth the uh, gamble on Simeon Spirit Guide. <laughs> I just got a Bedlam Reveler, which means they have a Bedlam Reveler in their hand. Will of Fortune even reserve list. It's worth a lot of money right now. I'm hoping to get one off of my pal Ricky. Alright, well I hate doing what I'm doing right now. But I really want my hazard to attack next turn if we get the thing, so... I don't think this is good versus his deck. I don't think this will win versus his deck, but I think it's the best that we have. If he doesn't draw any lands, like maybe it does. Especially if we draw another removal spell or another sweeper. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune's not a time walk. Alright, well, hopefully we can kill that. Nice. Somebody upstairs likes us right now. Has a written in modern. as modern as it was meant to be played. You know the card in their hand, so it's kind of weird. I guess you had to get the Lingering Souls in your graveyard, but... I'm going to get rid of this one. Um, I got for two minutes away from... Cast a blocker here. Boat any slag storm, any incinerate, uh, just to win. Our opponent's not even going to buy the thing back and try? That's weird. Maybe he knew he had to have runner runner or something. Alright, so we got to win one game versus their deck. Sorry, I'm sorry. Let me uh, let me pull it back up, and hopefully it'll work. 
Yeah, I can't wait to get this fixed. I'll bring these over. So I definitely don't want these. And I think we cut one incinerate. We just like run with it. Good night, mommy granny. My grandmother just came and told me good night. <laughs> Hopefully it's a little bit better now. Man, this sucks. I was going to try. I was actually going to log on Discord and play some League of Legends with some friends tonight. Kind of sad that it's not working well. Uh, I'm super sorry. I would love to be able to fix it. Apologies. So he knows we have an incinerate. Play. But I miss uh, Thundermall Hellcat in the sideboard, is what I was trying to say. Like, I've really missed Thundermall versus multiple Lingering Souls decks, so. One has one of the latest Emrakuls in his mono green Tron list last I looked at it, I believe. Or no, no, it was Cory Bottomaster that did. Yeah, I think it was Cory that had it. I'm just getting them confused because I'm not a bright man. Kind of surprised that they kept so many of those uh, Collector Brutalities in versus us. Like, I didn't think they were that good of a card. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're just better than I think they are.
They have double burn spell for Deshandra. We don't really care too much. Because that would have, like, depleted their hand. Again, this guy just never does anything. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, we know what we're going to do here. From breath and get frog. Next turn, there's a chance we can monstrous it, depending on how the game looks at the time. For seven or more. We also have nine points of damage in our hand next turn, plus we have a Chandra's def uh, Torch of Defiance. So, you know, that's 11 damage. Some Fury. Some Fury. We could win next turn, depending on what they have. That's not any good versus what we have, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright, we win! Nice, we 4 1. Thinking about that. We 4 1. Ah, feels good. The old cake and Very Eat a ton of. Really more what they're doing. Make up Wilson streaming. Streaming limited, though. I don't really want to host a limited player. But nobody else that I follow is online. Sean McLaren is. I'm just going to host, host Jacob Williams. But our headset's messed Pack, we got to get out of here. I want to thank you, JJ, for the 13th month sub. I appreciate you guys all coming out. And take care, everybody. Zombie. YouTube where I get absolutely wrecked here in a little while. Thanks for watching everyone.